Nearly 1,200 people have recovered from COVID-19 in the state. That's preliminary data according to the Alabama Department of Public Health. CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon spoke to a Vestavia Hills mother who is one of those recovered cases. She joins us now live to share her story and tell us what she thinks about trying to reopen the state. Hillary. Well, Lisa, I spoke to Alicia Brooks two weeks ago when she was seeing severe symptoms of COVID-19. She says it took her 21 days from the day she saw her very first symptom to the day she was showing no more symptoms. And she wants people to know that she thinks that she understands that people want to get back to work, but she still thinks it might be a little too soon to reopen the state. She describes her COVID-19 symptoms as mild compared to those being hospitalized. She says she suffered terrible headaches, fever, and a cough. Alicia says her greatest fear was being put on a ventilator, which wasn't needed in her case. She says her family was so careful and she is shocked, but very happy to see that she's the only one that caught the virus and her daughter and husband did not catch it. But she hopes people are still taking this seriously. You know, I, I hear a lot about the death rate and the survival rate. and Oh, if we do this, you know, things will be better. And I worked in nursing for 20 years. I understand the need to flatten the curve. I was a ventilator nurse for a patient, so I know how hard it is to keep people on ventilators. This is a serious illness. And Alicia says she is sitting outside again on the porch. She's reunited with her daughter and husband again after those 21 days. Now, in times like this, of course, it's really nice to hear those stories of those who have finally now recovered from the virus. But again, her big message to everybody is that even if you don't know someone personally that had or has COVID-19, you probably know someone who knows someone. So it's just it's so important. We all do our part and protect everyone. Alyssa, back to you. All right, Hillary, thank you.